Hi, kindergarten friends. It's Mrs. Ott, and it's time for today's interactive read aloud. Today, we're going to be reading the story called Actual Size by Steve Jenkins. The word actual means real. In our story, we're going to see different animals, and the pictures are going to be the actual or real size of the animal. Whose hand is on the front cover? It is a gorilla's hand. And that little animal next to him or on the finger, the thumb, is called a pygmy mouse lemur. Can you say pygmy mouse lemur? This is the actual size of a gorilla's hand. And this is the actual size of a pygmy mouse lemur. And if you look, you will see how big a gorilla's hand is compared to a human's hand. It is much bigger in actual size. Actual Size by Steve Jenkins. Look how big that moth is. It's much bigger than her hand. In the bottom corner, we, it says, the atlas moth is so large that it is often mistaken for a bird. Its wings are about 12 inches wide. That's really big. Did you ever look at a giant squid in the eye? Have you shaken hands with a gorilla or been face to face with a tiger? All of the animals in this book are shown at actual size. So you can see how you measure up to creatures both large and small. The dwarf go goby is the smallest fish of all. It's only about a third of an inch. And that tiny picture is the actual size of this fish. The giant squid lives deep in the ocean where its enormous eyes help it see in the dim light. Its body and tentacles are up to 59 feet long and its eyes are 12 inches across. Look how big its eye is. Its eye is about the size of a grown-up's head. The Alaskan brown bear is the largest meat-eating animal that lives on land. It is about 13 feet tall and weighs 1,700 pounds. That is really super heavy. Here's the largest bird, an ostrich with its egg. Its height is up to nine feet, which is taller than a grown up and its weight is about 340 pounds. Remember, we learned that the ostrich's egg was the largest egg of all when we read about oviparous animals. Look how big that egg is compared to her hand. A two foot long tongue. This must be a giant anteater snacking on its favorite food, termites. Its body and tail are seven feet long. That is still taller than an adult human and weighs 85 pounds. I bet you know what this animal is. It is a tarantula. The Goliath bird eater tarantula is big enough to catch and eat birds and small mammals. Its legs stretch 12 inches across. Boys and girls, imagine seeing a spider this big. This is the actual size of the spider. It's so huge. We don't have them where we live in Illinois, just so you know. The saltwater crocodile the world's largest reptile is a man-eater. Raise your hand if you know what the word man-eater means. 
Yeah, it could eat a human. Its length is 23 feet long. That's super long. This is a Goliath frog. It lives in Africa. It's big enough to catch and eat birds and, and it eats birds and rats. Let me say that again. It's big enough to catch and eat birds and rats. So imagine seeing a frog this big. Its length is 36 inches long when its legs are stretched out. And it weighs seven pounds, which is really heavy for a frog. That's about the size of a newborn baby. This is too close to a great white shark. Its length is about 21 feet. Its weight is 6,000 pounds and its teeth are four inches long. Look at those giant teeth. This page probably looks familiar. The huge gorilla and pygmy mouse lemur both have hands a lot like ours. So look at their hands compared to our hand. Which one is bigger? The gorilla, much bigger. The pygmy's hand is about the size of her fingertip, the whole hand. Whoa, this Siberian tiger is the biggest of the big cats. Its length is 14 feet from its nose to its tail and it can weigh from 500 to 700 pounds. This is the Goliath beetle and it is the world's heaviest insect. So it's about six inches long and three and a half ounces. Boys and girls, do insects weigh a lot? No, they're very light, but that's a pretty heavy bug. How many legs does it have? Six, all insects do. The rare giant walking stick is the world's largest insect. Its length is 22 inches long. Wow. Imagine seeing a bug that big, boys and girls, as long as a book. This foot belongs to the largest land animal the African elephant. Its height is up to 13 feet tall and it weighs as much as 14,000 pounds. Wow, look at it compared to her hand. It's huge. So on this page, we have all the different animals that we read about in the book. It gives you a full body picture so you can see its whole body because in the book, a lot of the pages just show you part of it. Okay, boys and girls, I'm gonna ask you some questions about the story. We know that animals have different sizes and some of them are very big and very small. Can you tell me one animal in this book that was very small? Yeah, the pygmy mouse lemur on the front cover was very small. We also saw that tiny fish, the dwarf goby. It's right at the beginning of our story. Right here. It was so tiny. Can you tell me some animals or insects that we saw that were very big? Yeah, this atlas moth, they said, is about as big as a bird. 
So that's big for an insect. The ostrich was the largest bird. This tarantula was huge for a spider. I'm sure you have a lot of really good ideas of other animals that we read about in this book also. We don't all like the same food and animals are the same. What do the animals in this book eat? We read about, let's see, do you know what this animal eats? You know what the shark eats? Yep, it's a meat eater. And what else? We know what this thing eats. We said the anteater snacks on its favorite food, termites. What about a brown bear? Does a brown bear eat? It's a meat eater too. How can you tell if an animal is bigger or smaller than you? Yeah, you can compare your body parts to the body parts of the animal. Why do you think the author Steve Jenkins made everything real or actual size? Yeah, he wanted to you to be able to compare yourself to the animals to see if the animals are bigger than you or smaller than you. And it can help you imagine the size of these animals. How are these pictures different from the pictures you usually see of animals in books? This book shows the picture of the real size of animals. Most books don't do that. Most books just have drawings of animals, but you don't see them in their actual size. There are many types of books, boys and girls. Some are made up and some tell you real information. What kind of book is this? Yeah, this book tells us real facts, real information. It's not a made up story. It has lots of true facts about animals. The pictures show the animal's actual size. So boys and girls, is this a fiction or a nonfiction story? It is absolutely a nonfiction story because it tells true facts. Great job, boys and girls. I hope you have an awesome day.